Hi, hello, welcome back. It's good to see you again. It's been a long week. My nails, not feeling it. My ears, don't wanna talk about it. I just, we're gonna have a better week this week than we did last week. So, bottoms up, baby. We got our water. If you have a snack present, please make sure that that is easily accessible because we love to nourish our beautiful growing bodies and mind and soul and hearts and all of those beautiful things. So stay tuned. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We are going to put our base on, come back and talk about what is on the table for today's healthy dose of insanity. Let's go do it. Hey, welcome back. Okay, different products alert because I don't show you guys my base, so I figured I should tell you when I switch things up. For my blush, I got this new Blink face palette. It's beautiful. It is so nice. I love it so much. And if you're sensitive to fragrances, I have to warn you, there is a pretty sweet scent um, when you're picking up pigment from this palette, so just be warned. It is scented. It smells sweet. It's, I think it said it was supposed to be peach. It doesn't smell anything like peach. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't, if you don't like fragrances in your pigments, probably not going to love this one. And I also just used, um, it's Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Gimme Brow on my brows today. And that's it. Okay. So what are we doing today, you ask? That's a good question, I don't know. Big surprise. Okay, so I, okay, this is what I, how many times can I say, okay, okay, okay. I wanna wear this shirt for the pictures because I bought it and I have not been able to use it yet. It's this, it's really cute and I love it. Um, but what do I do? I don't know that I necessarily want to do a zebra print on my eyelid. Okay, so at the very least, you're going to take out some kind of light blue pigment or some kind of blue pigment in general. Maybe we do like blue, white, and black just like as a theme, right? Maybe we do like a little half wing. That could be cute. Um, maybe with some other graphic liner moments with like white and black maybe. Who knows? Hmm, we're going to think about it and I'm going to come back and let you know what we end up going for. Okay, great. Perfect. We'll see you soon. Okay, this is what I've got for us. Hi. Okay, so we're going to start. First of all, I thought I was going to go in a very different direction with this than I ended up going, so I'm glad that we ended up where we did. Um, we're going to do this BH Cosmetics Los Angeles palette. We're going to start by taking this beautiful fluffy brush. It has glitter on it somehow. Don't ask me any questions. I don't have the answers. You know that, but it's fine. Do we love glitter? Of course we do. It's going to be all over everything. So as the sooner that we come to terms with that, the better off we'll be, right? Yeah. So we're going to dip into LAX here. And you're going to notice how I didn't do like a cat eye with my eyeshadow. I did still do a wing. So like, I know that probably doesn't count, but like Progress. This is called evolution, baby. Evolution. Okay, we're back with LAX. Okay. You're gonna put this above your crease and pack it in. Do it. You can use a packing brush for this if you like. Personally, I like using a fluffy brush. That way I could blend it out at the same time. And you are bringing it down all the way to meet the outer corner of your eye. And you are bringing it in all the way to meet the inner corner of your eye. Beautiful. We've got our pigment on there. We're going to hold on to this. There's another color that we want to use in there. So I'm just cleaning off this brush. And you take your skin tone color now and then you blend your edges out. beauty the next step of this okay so I need a q-tip you're going to take a tiny bit of micellar water tiny 
tiny, tiny bit. You don't want a ton of this. And take this part right where your crease is off of your eyeball as much as possible. It's not like it doesn't all need to come off. We are going to cover it with something else again. But in order to get this really stark white color on this side, I put down a white base instead of a neutral skin toned base. Okay, so now that that's off, I'm using, it's a Kat Von D liner. I'm sorry, it's not a liner. It's a concealer. It's white. It's just, I think it's called White Out. It is. The Locket Concealer Cream. I'm putting a little bit on the back of my hand. And I did draw the line with a very, very thin detail brush just so that I could see where it was. So you start from the inner corner. Okay. This is perfect. And then I took just a flat, I mean, this is an angled brush. It doesn't really matter. You're just putting the rest of the concealer all over your eyelid. So this doesn't need to be full coverage. We're putting a white pigment over this actually in order to get that really nice white shade. Um, I'm just going to tap out the end of this because I hate the transition if it's too harsh. So I'm just tapping out the end of the concealer just so that it's blended Oop, a little bit more. I just dropped my palette. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So you're going back into the LA palette I used more of like a, it's like half, I don't know, it's this brush. It's got a little round top. It's cute. It's a cutie. Oh, that's cute. Um, we're going to go into shade the Abbey and get a lot of pigment on your brush. There we go. That's perfect. And you are going to tap this in. We're not mixing back and forth. We're not blending back and forth. We are just tapping. Okay, once you get over to the end here is where you're, you'll start to blend a little bit more. So I did take the same brush that I used for um, the blue and the nude color. And you can put a little bit more blue, that color LAX, on your brush if you want to blend it a little bit more we are going to put some glitter over this transition spot to kind of hide it a little bit we also did a half wing over here so i'm going to get real close to the camera because my mirror is right here um so i apologize for what you're about to see but half wing you drag out from the outer corner of your eye up follow the natural shape of the bottom tear duct to waterline. So whichever trajectory this way is going, that's your natural curve. So just keep going with it. If it goes that up, whatever, it's fine. Anyway, so you're going to just go up and then you're going to try to go back in and then you're only going to go to the center or the highest point of your eyelid to get that half wing shape. So let's see if I can make them even. Be right back. Next step, we are going to take a little bit of our, this is a NYX glitter primer. We're gonna take a little bit of that on our finger. Tiny, tiny bit. Like, mm, that's probably too much. That much. There you go. Still probably too much, it's okay. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna just put it right where the transition colors are. You can pull it into the white a little bit, onto the blue a little bit, up a little bit. But this is the area that it's going into. 
Okay. And then you're going to take, I don't remember what they call this. This is If You Know You Know by ColourPop. ColourPop Cosmetics. And I'm taking a little packing brush and I'm going to flip that right there. This you do have to build up a little bit. It's a really fine glitter. And I'm just putting this where I put the glitter primer. Otherwise it's gonna fall off. So, duh, Becca. So now that it's on there, I'm going to take that same brush that I used for the blue and the white. I'm sorry, for just the blue. And I'm just going to blend that, get all the excess glitter off. And then if any happens to get into your eyeliner, just go over your eyeliner with your black, um, or with your eyeliner again, that's fine. Just to make sure that it's solid and consistent. Good. Okay, here's the tedious part. Probably not going to be very fun for you. So, you're going to take a little bit. This is our Ben Nye Glitter Glue. It's very liquid. That's okay though. We got this. We can handle it. You're going to trace the line that you made with your white liner and your white shadow. So a little bit at a time, like that much is good. And then I've got little tiny pieces of glitter. Glitter is from Dumb Blonde, glitter Co or Dumb Blonde Cosmetics. I don't know what style this is. I can let you know in a second. I'm just alternating between these hexagons, like a small one and a big one. I don't even know where I put that glitter. Oh, here it is. It's style number 23. It comes in a little pack like this. So it's a bunch of different, it's just like glitter. It's like normal glitter. So you do have to like pour it out and sift through it to find the sizes that you want, unfortunately, but it makes for a really cute little moment here. So I'm not mad about it. We're like halfway symmetrical. Let's take a break. Let's take a load off. It's time to get some water. If you hadn't had any today, that's okay. We're gonna do it together right now. And I'll go first. Let's do it. Cheers. This is my second time trying this because the first time I choked myself on the water. So don't do that. But like, I love water. So. All is well in the world. Yeah. So tell me about what you love about yourself this week. I'm so excited to hear. This week I learned um, that I love my attitude towards things that would not necessarily be fun most of the time. And I didn't get upset. I was so excited. Um, I got some not bad news. But like something that I could have lived without and I was just like okay and I'm proud of me for doing that I'm proud of me for regulating my emotions that's the that's the long story short there so I love that I was able to regulate my emotions on my own I love how strong-willed I am how resilient I am how compassionate I am I love that I am an educator of many things. I'm not a teacher, but I'm an educator. I'll take that. And I love my talent and creativity in many forms and that it takes place or shape of many things. I like that about me. What do you like about you? I would love to hear it. Tell me what you're most proud of yourself for doesn't have to be anything crazy it has to be what you're proud of so I would love to hear that and while we're here stopping and thinking let's stop and think about taking a breath ready we're gonna inhale in three two one that felt really nice even my my paint set popped oh that was a giveaway of a surprise Let's breathe in one more time in three, 
two, one. <sighs> nice job. Let's move on to the next step. Yes. So next up is the water line. I'm just using my jumbo eye pencil um, from NYX. It's in shade milk. We're going to, oops, wrong eye. Just line our water line with that. I clean up underneath because I always manage to get it everywhere besides my waterline. So that's super cool. And then I'm going to take this tiny little brush, if I can find it, because I lose everything. And would you look at that? I can't, oh, there it is. I put it away. That was not the right plan. Oh, ooh, before we do that, before we do that, let's do our inner corner. So you're taking another little detail brush and I'm just using a little bit of white face paint and you're just extending your inner corner. And because this is face paint and not like powder pigment or an eyeliner or something, it may blend in with your eyeshadow. You might just have to do a couple coats in order to keep it crisp and white. So when this dries, I may have to do a second coat on it. Um, okay. So now we're going to do, wow, I'm all over the place today. I am so sorry. Good luck keeping up. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to take, this is a Juvia's Place palette. It's the Warrior Two by Juvia's, and we're gonna take that black on the bottom. It's called Shawada. You're just going to put this under your white liner. You can attach it to your wing if you want, and you're gonna bring it all the way in, I don't know, leave like that inner third of your eye alone. That's where you're going to blend it. And I just go back and forth on this with the small brush to get all the pigment onto my eye. And I take a clean fluffy brush and you're just going to under at the very bottom buff that out. I'm not using any other pigment or any other color underneath this. I just want to smoke it out a little bit. The amount of which you do this, like how how much blending you do is just based on how smoky you want your under eye to look so do as little or as much as you want that's totally fine perfect I like it okay now we get to do mascara and lashes and a lip and highlight so we're basically almost done we're basically almost done so do we think a black lip liner and lipstick? Or a nude? Mm, I do nude all the time, right? Should I just do the black? Should I just bite the bullet and do the black? Let's do the black lip. We're gonna do a black lip. We're gonna line with black. This is that alley-oop pen. And I'm gonna give myself the cupid. Mm, let's see how it looks with the cupid's bow. And this is shade Alien by NYX. What do we think? Do we like this? Maybe if I put like... Okay. Last but not least, a gloss. I have a lip plumping gloss, let's do that. I have so much stuff on my lips right now, it probably won't even feel like anything. Nice. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh, okay. All right, let's do, I'm gonna do lashes, I'm gonna do highlighter, I'm gonna get myself all dolled up for you. I can't wait to see the finished product, yes! Let's do it. Just do it. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, we did it. Welcome back. Okay, let's take a look. We love our cute little tank, our little haltery guy. So cute. I love it. Um, we've also got, okay, these lashes, killer. I love them. 
$2.98 at Walmart. Look at this. They are a little stiff. I'll warn you about that. So you have to roll them out before you put them on. I did not do that. So they are a little stiff. It's fine. And they're beautiful. Look at, look at that curl. I'm impressed. I have to say, I'm very impressed. And here we are. I'm so proud of you for showing up for you today. I am so proud of you for taking some time and giving yourself what your body and your mind and your soul need. So don't forget, if you haven't finished your water, if you haven't eaten your snack, you have a beautiful time to do that right now while we sit down and we reflect on all the good things that we did for ourselves today. I love you so much. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.